Everybody knows some superheroes can fly, and this Halloween, a Tampa family isn't letting any physical limitation keep their son from taking off. In fact, they have transformed his wheelchair into the ultimate Halloween costume. Love this story. <laughs> News Channel's Brittany Muller joining us live uh, with the latest on this. And Brittany, they're hoping to raise some awareness this holiday. And that is the goal. Take a look at this video. This is the Hoffer family's big costume debut. The theme this year, Top Gun. While trick-or-treating could be difficult for kids with physical dif differences, that's not stopping this family from bringing the Halloween magic for their son with cerebral palsy. Two. One. Transforming seven-year-old Hudson's wheelchair into an F-14 Tomcat, like the one in Top Gun. When your child uses a wheelchair for mobility, it's tough to get to doors, it's tough to really do anything. But Nicholas and Wendy Hoffer are making it a memorable experience, despite a physical difference. Hudson was born with cerebral palsy. This is his favorite day of the year, <laughs> and ours is a family. While Hudson is not mobile and nonverbal, he finds ways to engage. Maverick, it's not your flying, it's your attitude. Especially with this infectious smile, he uses an eye gaze device to help him communicate. We've got his iPad um, with his costume for tonight so that he can say trick or treat and he can say lines from from Top Gun so that <laughs> he can be in character, fully in character. The Hoffer family goes all out. i am building costumes for six years now. In past years on Halloween, they've created a space shuttle, Batmobile, and a fire truck, bringing awareness to those with different abilities. Instead of going door to door to trick or treat, kids will go to the end of each house so Hudson can be included in those festivities. If you see a kid who may not appear the same as every other kid that's walking down the street, whether it's Halloween or any day. Take an effort to include him because I guarantee you he or she and their parents uh, will love it, right? And the more that we can be outwardly inclusive, the more inclusive we all become. A great message. Now, I asked the Hopper family what it's like going to a Halloween store to find huts in a costume. They said there's really no options available. So they created this experience for not only their son Hudson, but their family and entire neighborhood. And this is a tradition that keeps on growing. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.